Hi there guys, so as we all know WordPress 6.3 is around the corner and is set to release on August 8th, 2023. So as of uh, recording this video, I'm currently using the 6.3 release candidate, the third uh, version of it. And um, things are looking pretty neat. So we now have all of the FSC parts in a central area, the design area, the navigation styles, pages, templates, patterns, name anything and it's all in the side editor along with that we have a new thing that we will be discussing in this video and that is the new development mode so the new development mode brings us uh, a few changes to how we uh, set development mode in wordpress because this one is specifically targeted for developing for wordpress so maybe you're developing a plugin or maybe a theme or maybe something for the core or in general you're doing something for the uh, for your uh, client as an agency so all those things so let's discuss how that fits uh, in the already uh, available wordpress environment variables for development or any other things so let's take a look at that so here's the first article that discussed or um, talked about how the new development mode will fit in going forward uh, with 6.3 and uh, so the new development mode is um, you can set it via the WP development mode uh, constant and uh, as you might know from uh, setting any other development variables in the past that this will also go in our um, WP config.php file and uh, so let's uh, Let's look at this WP development mode uh, constant and how it is different from the previous WP debug or WP environment type, etc. So see, this one is specifically targeted for development mode. So in case you, you have a staging site uh, or you have a production site, I mean, not production site, production sites are not at all used for these constants, but the WP, if you were to know the WP environment type, that is always available, even in production uh, size, because that isn't being used uh, via the WordPress core or anywhere to define or limit certain features. But uh, um, this WP development mode is uh, um, is being used uh, uh, under the core. It's it's real. It's relatively new, so it's only being used right now. Uh, in the WordPress uh, FSE themes or the theming uh, part of the code in WordPress, uh, such as for caching, etc. So if you were to enable this for themes, you would right now have caching disabled. So when you're editing the theme.json, etc., um, you will not have cached data. So it will not be that irritating when you say change something in the site editor and uh, have it reflected right away uh, so there is that so let's take a look at how to define this so as you would go uh, defining any other um, wp constant in wp config.php you we will just do wp development mode and then the second parameter being so uh, the parameters it takes are core plugin theme and all and an empty string is the default value, but then that means it is disabled. So for any other environment such as staging, production, uh, will be set to nothing because you don't set WP development mode in all those uh, sites, but only for development or local sites, you would set something like this. Uh, so we have core plugin theme. So when you set core, it means that uh, um, you are working for uh, the core or maybe uh, developing a certain feature or working um, on the feature for contribution on uh, the WordPress core GitHub or something, right? And uh, the second one being plugin, that means you're working on a plugin and, uh, you know, uh, you are uh, trying to use uh, the plugin part of the WordPress code um, relatively faster for development. And the same goes for theme, like we discussed, uh, that when you set for theme, it will um, directly uh, stop caching the theme.json values as it will 
in uh, a regular WordPress site. So there's that. But uh, as I said earlier, this is relatively new and it is only being implemented right now for the theme.json, but we'll definitely follow the suit for any other WordPress core parts or plugin or other functions, etc. It is already mentioned in this article as well. So I will link this down in the video description if you want to check that out. And um, uh, there's also one more option that is all. If you were to set it to all, um, as I'd imagine, it will uh, set it to all of these things, core, plugin, and theme. And uh, this will be a scenario as it is mentioned here. So this may be relevant to when you are working on a specific site as a whole, example for a client. So that uh, I'm, I'm still not sure uh, what that all is, uh, you know, maybe how it is relevant. But, you know, in most cases, I will definitely just be using theme or plugin or the code. Yeah. Uh, so uh, when you have these set, how do you um, get the values? So maybe uh, it is set uh, in the WP config uh, and you have a plugin or a theme so let's, for example, in this one, I have a plugin. Let's take a look. I have this plugin called Demo Plugin and it has already activated. I also have this demo menu page registered here, as you can see. So let's try to get our um, um, WP Development Mode constant and what it is set to right now. So I think we have it set to all. So let's see how I, that is being returned. Let me get uh, Development Mode, sorry, Development Mode. So by the way, this is a low level function uh, as per the article, uh, because this function is not recommended to be used, be uh, mostly because that um, when you have that all set, it will return all, but uh, it is recommended that you use WP is a part of this uh, WP is development mode function. And because this being, this will also take the parameter of either um, any one of those available parameters because uh, this will not return, um, say, um, any value. So it will not return all when it is set to all. It will only return a boolean. And in case it is the, the, the constant is set to all, uh, it will return uh, true for theme as well. It will return true for plugin as well. And it will return true for core as well. So that is one thing to notice. So uh, since this is just a test, I'm just going to use this WP Git development mode. As you can see, it returns all. And um, let's try that. WP is development mode. And let's just say theme because we have it set to all. Should, should return true. Yeah, and there it is. All right, so that was uh, how you can uh, set the development constant and uh, also get the value of it. You can use in all sort of ways, such as maybe you have a plugin uh, set on GitHub and you know, you'd know you wanna uh, maybe have certain different features when you have a development mode set uh, in the uh, site constant and you, had, you have certain features that you wanna enable for development mode only. So uh, I think this video is going uh, getting too long. So let's skip that and uh, move forward. Um, Let's check all the constants that are being set uh, right now that are already set. So uh, if you're not aware already, you if you were to go to tools from WP admin menu and then site health, you can check all the tools that are already set. So in the site health info tab and then the sorry WordPress constants. And then you'll see all kinds of uh, the constants that are set in the WordPress uh, config or any web. For that matter so as you can see development mode is set to all but in word to remove it let's uh, disable this as well so comment code out and uh, let's remove this if you were to remove this um, this will be set to something like empty string or okay yeah, it is disabled yeah so as i said this will only be set for development only sites or environments so there's that now let's take a look at the WP environment type because that is also a bit confusing for um, you know and a, a development user or any other because this is being advertised as a constant for every um, site 
because this is by default set and you will get production even if you haven't set it. So uh, without defining it, it will return us a value. So let's do that and we'll just say developing get. Okay, let me just remove this part of the code. This is silly. All right, there will be get uh, environment type. And when we see this, uh, you'll see that, let's open that in a new tab. You'll see that that's Redox production, but we haven't set that uh, ourselves. And it is the default one. Now, we also have four options here. And um, these four options include production, staging, development, and local. And uh, the production being default, setting these other three will uh, return the, those values with the function, the helper function. So this is the recommended function to use, the we get environment type function. And um, so let's take a look at what all these uh, options do and how do they affect uh, the WordPress core functions. First of all, they don't affect at all uh, the default core functions or anything because this is intended for plugin or uh, theme or any other sort of development which will be added separately. So this is not relevant for the already available uh, code from WordPress. And uh, setting these up will only uh, be kind of a, like a flag for your site that this site is being run as this environment. Uh, so I hope that makes sense. And um, so you'd know production is being production a live site and then there's the staging site that as a normal user, you would think that it is a site where, you know, you're working on the front part of the uh, things, uh, such as in the site editor itself, and you're not touching something like theme.json or production, uh, sorry, or plugin uh, files or PHP files for that matter. So this is that uh, parameter you'd set, the staging and uh, uh, development, development being development. And, uh, you know, maybe you are working on the, internet only you have a server where you have a development environment and you sort of have some sort of coding uh, uh cloud coding setup uh, i don't know why that is i don't generally do it on the uh internet on the clouds but this this is what it says this is what you use for development environments that are reachable on the internet uh we automatically enable wp debug on environments where this is the environment type so uh, that is also one thing to note that uh, WP debug is also enabled when you set WP environment type to development if that is already not set via WP config.php. So that and uh, lastly we have locals. So you'd expect this is something uh, of a site where uh, you are working locally and uh, you'd wanna set it to that. Again, this does not um, at all uh, you know, relate to the code part of the things because I don't think at all that this changes anything. But you can set it and by default it will be set to production. And if you were to set it to anything else than these other four values, it will default back to production. So that's one thing to note as well. And uh, you'd set it again the very same way. You'd set it in here, define and then the parameter being WP environment tie uh, and then one of those four values ID so such as local yeah uh, I hope that makes sense and uh, moving on to um, the other uh, environment variables such as WP debug um, so they are not gone or they are not going anytime soon because along with these they are also part of the whole development scene in WordPress and uh, uh, setting these development development sorry WP development mode uh, constant or the WP environment type constant won't change anything for the WP debug part of uh, the things and uh, that is here to stay. So all of these constants are decoupled in terms of features and uh, I think for most part of the WP development site and such as the code part of the site you would be using something like developing uh, development mode or the debug and you know for uh, convenience you might wanna use the WP environment type constant as well because as we saw that setting it to development automatically uh, enables the WP debug uh, constant so that's a plus thing. Again um, 
This is all available in these articles, which I'll list in the video description. Hope this makes sense. And uh, I am hoping for a better future in WordPress moving forward with the new um, site editor and the, all the changes that are uh, being introduced. Again, there's also, I think, noticed an article on uh, the WP admin being uh, uh, redesigned. So that will be a welcome change to see, such as how we have the site editor right now. You know, it's a whole new experience. I will be definitely exploring those if uh, that is being uh, introduced. So let's um, let's keep uh, word pressing, yes. And uh, I will see you in another video. Until then, have a great day. And uh, if you like this video, please subscribe or like the video. Do both of those things. Peace.